want to thank you for the opportunity for our education, for granting us the courage to continue to strive toward graduation. We should pause and pay tribute to those who enable us to be here together this evening. Our parents and relatives, our teachers and mentors, and our friends. With their continued support, we will have the courage and confidence to face the future that lies ahead. Please bless this food. Amen.
creation. One may assume they are referring to the two passages of sin. However, we really know the behavior of this calendar can only be achieved by Shankman, our school staff. <laughs> Through careful deliberation, we have systematically categorized our school staff as the three distinct groups. We may not have known this, but some of the staff resemble world famous people. Al Martin. Mr. Sullivan. Our 
himself as he walked the hallway selling great things from having to pack his student population. This show of affection has touched some students so deeply that they felt the necessary to show their appreciation for the past in many different ways. Some students took part in the tree planting. <laughs> As many of you know, a large loose group was erected in the school parking lot. These students also went to large providing alternate sanitation facilities on top of the school group. <laughs> Other students used to create a sign of better school by stalling a tree in the courtyard.
Cosby. This student is very religious, just like you, Mr. Nolan. I smell a trick question. Religion. Ah. Who is Eric at church? Who is my good buddy? 
we have several dignitaries who are with us this evening who have come to bring special greetings to the graduating class. To begin with the greetings, I would like to call upon the mayor of the district of seminar, Mr. John Rogers. Mr. McCarthy, the superintendent of schools, also brings greetings to the graduating class. The individual who is bringing greetings to the graduating class is Mr. Judy Decker, the chairperson of Shoe Club School District, Mr. Decker. I would also at this time like to acknowledge Mr. Lawrence Williams, our member of Parliament, who is with us this evening. Thank you, Mr. McCarthy. I'd also like to acknowledge as well the many trustees who are here with us. We certainly appreciate your support uh, throughout the course of the year. For our first musical selection, Tracy Franklin and Richard Taylor from the graduating class are going to be doing a selection called That's the White. Tracy and Richard.
Tracy Gregory and Richard Taylor. It's a pleasure for us now to begin the presentation of the graduating class. I'd like to call upon Mr. Mark to introduce the first section of the graduating class. Mr. Mark. Thank you. 
She plans to attend college next year. Michael Bootstra. Michael is registered at the University of Calgary to pursue a Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Physics. His long range goal is a career in architecture. Uh, Michael went to the Santa Ana Simpson Club scholarship for $500. Campbell Delonte. Volleyball, soccer, yearbook, counterattack, and a student council have all been on Campbell's agenda throughout the year. He intends to go to UBC to pursue studies in the medical field and meet many people, travel the world, and one day live by the ocean. He wins the Campbell Living Space Scholarship for $500 and the Salmon Arm Rotary Club Scholarship for $900. Jim Hill. There's a plan to clear the mechanics or carpentry. Keith Brooks. Keith was on the gold soccer team. His future plans are undecided at this point, but college is most likely on his agenda in the future.
supervisor or an officer and hopefully serve in the peacekeeping force. Laura Elliott, member of the Oklahoma Free South Speaking, she is going to call in children for business management.
That is the word of the United Dollar Memorial Scholarship of $300. Christine will be further in graduation at Okanagan University College with the goal of achieving a bachelor's of, uh, education degree. Christine is born at Okanagan University College President Hendricks Scholarship, the QP Local 1908 Scholarship of $500, and the William Rodney Memorial Scholarship of $1,000. Christine has been awarded Bill is on the gold basketball team and wants to become a police officer. Lisa Hobbs. Lisa was involved in the student grad council, cross country running, and counter attack. She planned to travel and further education. Lisa was awarded the seminar in the District Dental Society Scholarship of $500. Jeremy is going to Okanagan College and then plans to go into the field of optometry. 
Kelly Bennett. It's an equal pleasure to present the second half of the graduating class of 1993 and to begin the presentation, I'll call now on Mrs. Mitchell.
Chris is looking for a full-time job this summer so he can buy a new truck.
one graduate who was not able to be here in the evening is Peter August Sanchez. Peter is the recipient of the Southern Sky Award of $300. Peter Sanchez is the recipient of the Southern Sky Award of $300. The last student graduate will be to by Mr. Roger Nairo.
Parents dream of successful and responsible children. Friends dream of long-lasting relationships. And everybody dreams of love and acceptance. In realizing these dreams, we can find happiness. Happiness comes at the moment of setting the goal itself, as a product of working towards the goal, and at the final achievement of the goal. A good example of this is the goal we reach here tonight. Young kids dream about growing up and being in school. Teachers, many in their school career, along with our parents, helped us to move from that young dreaming stage to this. Now new dreams are being made, similar to the ones that our parents dreamed. Those who do with their eyes closed, and those who do with their eyes open. Those who do with their eyes open are the ones who will realize their dreams. They will not necessarily appear the most successful, but they will be happy. For grads, a common dream is to keep the path between the kids open between themselves and those who both get together and relationship with you. The next few months and years may test on the relationship. But for the relationship to pass the test, both sides must put in some effort. There's so much to remember at this time about school friends in the past and all the exciting things done together. These memories should be cherished, from swinging in the playground of childhood to the mature conversations of adulthood. New memories are going to be made with friends in the future. And one of the most important things that both of these groups of friends can do is help you achieve your dreams and goals. Friends bring happiness and smiles. Another place where people can find happiness is family. We unfortunately have often taken families for granted, but they definitely contribute to our achievements and happiness. Loving families also don't really give up when we run into difficulties working towards our important goals. We've all seen families torn apart. Families in which love is present, but not expressed very well. As grads, our traditions permit us to dream with our eyes open of a building our own lucky family. All of us, both grads and others, can picture in our minds the kind of life we wish to lead, the one we wish to be happy. This can be a major goal for us. It may include for some a specific occupation, a specific residence, or it might be more general. We each have hobbies and interests to enjoy. Making a job of these could be a part of our life goal. Dreams of peaceful friendships, self worth, and giving of ourselves freely to others. We would like to give you now, taking a few moments to think of the life you want to lead. Not necessarily a completely different life than you have, not the life of a different person. In your life, with a few important changes to bring happiness. Picture yourself in situations you would like to see yourself in. As you do this, Dave and I will give you images of the lives which you can possibly like for you. I've been mean, coming home to visit my family in summer over the next year at school and spending time with them and my friends. I've been mean, talking with my family about new things that I've learned and experienced while away. I dream also of meeting new friends while away and sharing my new experiences with them. Later in life, I see myself traveling, getting married, having kids running around with a dog, spending time with them every week with them. I see having healthy, happy children who visit their grandparents. Thank you. 
musical collection of music is forever young the julia grinder julia I would like to remind all scholarship recipients, all graduate scholarship recipients, to please meet in front of the stage at the conclusion of the ceremony. I would ask for some help uh, from the audience in moving chairs so that we can quickly do our free dances and we can move the chairs up in this section and in this section as well. It will facilitate the dancing. On behalf of the graduating class of 1993, I would like to thank you all for joining us this evening. I know some of you have traveled many miles to be here tonight, and your presence is certainly appreciated. So, again, on behalf of the graduating class of 1993, thank you for joining us in this special evening. Right, thank you for tonight.
Oh, yeah. 